All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Welcome back to a new video. And uh, as you can see, this is what we are going to be making today. It is this cartoony skull icon. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to make a new layer. And we're just going to go to our pencil. We're going to go right here. I'm going to click and curve it. If you look up here, it's on shape. The fill is on. I have stroke off. So I'm just going to click and drag. Uh, if this happens, what you do is you want to hold Alt and click on this blue square. Now it should uh, reset the curve, the path. As you can see, we're just going to click and drag. Click and drag right over here. And complete the shape. Go back up. Alright, so we got one side. Uh, let's go back to Remove Tool. We're going to move it right there. Alright, let me see. Um... Okay, so we're going to make this the color, so double click, and I'm just going to click over here. Now I'm going to make a new layer, use my pencil again. This time I'm going to trace this shadow, so go ahead and do that. Just going to go around, and I'm going to double click, select the color, move it right here, right click and go to create clipping mask, as you can see. It's gonna place it into the shape when do this part. So uh, yeah, make a new layer. Uh, let me turn this off. So we're gonna take these two, have them uh, selected. You want Control J, Control T, and right click, and go to flip horizontal. From here, I'm just going to clip this back in. All right, uh, let's align these two so we can see what we are working on. All right. And let's move these back. Alright, so we got this. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Click on the top layer. Uh, hold shift. Click on this one. Right click. Go to convert to smart objects. Alright. And now, we use our pencil. Make a new layer. We go from here. We're going to copy this shape. Alright. Just going to copy this. And... Let's go around here. There we go. Let's clip this in. And I'm going to. Actually, no. That's the wrong one. Go for this one instead. And we're just going to go around like that. Clip it in. Let's place it right here. Change the color. Alright. Looks good. Now. Uh, Alright, so hold control, click, have these two uh, selected, and right click, and we're gonna right click, go to rasterize layers. Now I'm gonna go up here to my polygonal lasso tool, and I'm going to create the cuts like this. Just hit backspace, and uh, we're gonna merge these two, so merge layers. I'm gonna hit backspace, let's make a cut, and also make a cut right here. As you can see, looks good. I'm going to right click, go into blending options. I'm going to add inner shadow. I'm going to choke this all the way up. Colors on white. And I'm going to increase the size. As you can see, make the mode into overlay. And I'm going to turn this down. As you can see. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Now, for these highlights up here, it's very simple. We're going to use the lips tool as you can see I'm just gonna place it right here copy it make a smaller version just place it right here all right that's it for that um and now make a new layer I'm gonna go up here click click as you can see and just drag it should be accurate uh, something like that. So with this, change the color to this, and uh, new layer, 
clip it in, pencil, and we're just going to copy this shape now. Right here, and also right here. Alright. There's one, new layer, and we also got this one. So, there we go. I'm going to go right here. Alright, clipped. Let's take these, move it across, as you can see. And we're just going to change the color. Very simple. And uh, I'm going to right click on the shape with the effects and go to copy layer cell. Go to this one, the horn. Right click and go to paste layer cell. And it should automatically place uh, the effects. So we got that. Let's align these. So we got this and we also got this. Alright, perfect. Uh, take the horn, control J to copy, right click. I mean control T and then right click go to flip horizontal let's move across and now what we got left is the eyes so here's what we're gonna do for the eyes let me think how we should do this all right so take your ellipse tool all right and we're just going to do this shape change the color to this uh, this color all right and when right click Blending options, in the shadow, normal, colors on black, angle is on 90, and uh, we're just going to do this, as you can see, and we're going to copy the ellipse, so control J, we're going to go right in between, hold alt, and when this icon appears, you want to click down to clip, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to change the color to this red. And I'm also going to add an outer glow, I think. Yeah. Outer glow. Make it this color. I'm trying to. Whatever. And increase the spread. So we're just going to pick a lighter shade. Um, I like this. Yeah. We're just going to copy it. Clip it back in. There we go. Make this smaller. Now we're gonna copy it one last time, and uh, we're gonna go take this FX and drag it to the trash to get rid of the effects. And I'm gonna select this red, clip this layer in, hold Alt and click. And uh, once you got that, let me move it right here. Bevel and bus, and turn this up. I'm gonna do normal. So for this, you just want to um, copy my settings, I guess. Uh, I guess you could use an ellipse and blur it out or a brush, but uh, I think this is fine. For a tutorial, so uh, group these up, place it right here. All right, and uh, see what we got. So we're gonna go right here. I think that's right. Yep. All right, so this little blue part is easy. Make a new layer. Pencil. Let's go like this. All right. Hold Alt. Click on this. Now this blue part, we could just change the color. Like that. And let me hide this. All right. Put this behind. The eye, so it could look like that. All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. Um, and say, put this right here. All right, we're gonna take everything and try to match it up as best as we possibly can. This goes right here. Uh, this little thingy. Let me see. Hold up. This goes up here. This little eye port. Let's move it right here. It should be a bit smaller, I guess. There we go. Alright, so we're going to take this. Also, for the eye, you could um, add in a uh, drop shadow, opacity up, spread, size, angle is on 90. We're going to select this color, select a lighter shade to give it that uh, effect. 
you could add another one uh, same thing but we go negative 90 degrees for the angle and go up all right and turn the opacity down as you can see all right perfect so we're just gonna take this and this and uh, we're just gonna duplicate that was good and uh, all we got left is to add a shadow or a stroke so we're gonna click Hold shift click on the bottom control G control J we're gonna right click on the top one and go to convert to smart objects now we're gonna right click and go into blending options as you can see and uh, add a drop shadow I actually want to make this 3D, so I'm going to uh, remove the effects, move this down. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed making this skull icon. It looks uh, really nice. But uh, yeah, with that being said, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video.